Hi everyone, just a quick video. I always say that, and it always ends up being a yip yap rabbit rabbit session. As you can see in the background, I've got a little smart EQ mount with my little DSLR and a lens all, at all attached to it. But this video is not really about that, it's all about um, connecting and control of the telescope using Stellarium. The new version of Stellarium, I think it's 19.3, we'll check it in a little bit when I get round to that bit, has onboard telescope control, whereas before we were always using um, Stellarium scope, which is like an inter a bridge um, piece of software between the mount, ASCOM and Stellarium. But Stellarium, apparently, well, I've just tried it, it does work. It's got it already built in. So, what's the steps? Right, first thing, plug in the, the main, switch it on. Ooh, sounds obvious, but if you forget it, nothing will work. Um, blah, 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 blah. In our case, I use the handset. And a USB, a USB connection straight into the PC or laptop. Um, that's about that's about it for this bit. So now I'm going to transition, and we'll go straight on to my desktop. First thing to do, I'll switch it off for a sec. As you can see, I'm using an, an Ioptron, but you need to download, besides the latest version of Stellarium 19.3, you need to make sure that you've got your the, ASCO, the latest ASCOM platform installed, which, looking back, I think, platform 6.4 or something like that so just go to ASCOM and download the, the most latest version for your machine once that's installed then you can run your mounts con uh, ASCOM connection so the mount started so now Da -da, it's connected, it says it's connected, don't get me wrong, I've got it Once that's done, this is so ridiculously quick, it's unbelievable. I'm in the parked position at the moment. Set it up, so go into tools, plugins, telescope control, this is so ridiculously quick. I'll remove the one that's there. Right, then add. We're going to add one, and it's an ASCOM variant. I'll give it a name. In my case, Smart EQ. Don't want. Anyway, within the plugin, telescope control, connect. It says I'm connected, so I close that now. I can find the little cross on this one. They're always dark, aren't they? That's gone. And lo and behold, that's not it. Have a look around. We should be able to see a little red bullseye. There he is, near Polaris, because I'm always usually parked position is sort of heading towards north so ba boom there he is now that's okay but the mount the mount at this point isn't tracking because it's still stuck in the park position so my next task just do a quick star alignment one star alignment well just looking we're here in around polaris so just for a sec, I'll just use Doobie. So I'll go to the handset, say select and slew alignment, one star align, 
you can do this on your own mount but I'm just flicking through the mount now to find do you bleed so I flicked through the mount so I'm now on doobie on a one star alignment so I've chosen that so we'll get the mount to flew off to doobie obviously if I was out on the field then I'd use my little polar scope and get it centered in the and the camera using live view or something but here I haven't got that option so I'm just going to say enter which is fine so now I'm one star one one star line and the mount is now tracking there we go. now we can see straight away that Stellarium's picked it up and says woohoo you're in doobie dubby or whatever dooby dooby do so that's it job done how simple as that go to so if you want to slew to a target it's control one to slew on the keyboard which is there uh, control three synchronizes stellarium to your mount so in other words if you've got your star in the center of the um, Uh, field of view in, in the using live view or your spotting scope and you're happy and you're taking a shot and it's right where you want it then all you've got at that stage the mount would be in um, wouldn't be on a star it would say it's in its use in a user position so at that point you just go back to Stellarium and hit control 3 and it will just sync Stellarium to the mount, and then when you next target, so in this case, I'll go back to Doobie for a minute. How cool is this? That's, so it's a lot quicker than it was used to be. So, for example, I want to go to the Bodes Gallery. Boats, nebula, even. How quick is that? And the man comes along and says, "Let's start." If you were using an intervalometer to do your um, your shooting manually, you just hit hit expose now and um, take some pictures. Or if you're viewing, um that's the other option of course I can't do it with this camera but you could quite easily launch sharp cap or IC camera or whatever APT whatever program you're using and, and do a, a live view on the screen really, ch really chuffed with that the only thing I haven't worked out I'm not sure if it can is to move the telescope to a parked position there we go but at the bottom here you've got a, a little telescope icon so it tells you all your I think you can expand on this does it say it hasn't got a that's a shame isn't it, it hasn't got a park um, option which is well I suppose then again if I go back to the main panel no, my, this particular software for the smart EQ doesn't have a more uh, park option so it's just have to use the um, The handset. Hmm. That's it. Job done. Cheers for now.